and thanks for joining us at Nothing But Real Life. Today we're going to talk about a certain kind of therapy. It's called DBT therapy, which stands for Dialectical Behavioral Therapy. And what it is, is it's practicing mindfulness. It's practicing um, when our minds get in an emotional state and we become reactive. It's teaching us skills to be able to um, take a step back from that emotional mindset and do something, and these are the skills that it teaches you, do something that will take you out of that emotional and put you more in a reasonable thinking or a wise mind. So um, we're going to talk with the kids today about some of the skills that they are using in DBT therapy and um, are able to problem solve rather than becoming reactive when they feel emotional so that they can take situations and diffuse them rather than uh, intensifying them by being impulsive when they're in more of an emotional state. Hi, I'm Kenya. Um, so my family started doing this DBT therapy thing. And you know, I used to hate therapy for a long time, but I don't know, there's something about this whole DBT thing that, I don't know, kind of is less scary and intimidating probably because there's other people my age and um, the therapist there, I really like her and she's one of my mom's friends, so it's good too. Okay, Ammon, DBT is new to you, you've never done it before, right? Yeah. What are you thinking of it? Is it, is, are you learning new things from it? Yeah. So are you enjoying DBT? Yeah. What is the thing you feel like you've learned the most from it? To uh, yeah, listen. To listen, what do you mean? Tell me listen about that. Listen to what you say. What do you mean you've learned that? I've learned what to listen to say. Sometimes I don't listen. <laughs> and I don't do it. So do you feel like it's helped you to stop and observe first, to think before you react? Yeah. Is that what you mean by listen? Yeah. Anything else? Do you want to tell us who your girlfriend is? So we've been doing DBT therapy for a couple weeks. It's something, a new program that we started that um, we are working with, our therapist with, and she's with Wellspring. Um, the very first thing we had the kids do is come up with a goal. We started with one, um, and then as the weeks progressed, we added two more goals and um, talked about something that we feel like we do well at, and then um, also a goal of a behavior that we wanted to do better at. So what are some of the things that you um, have learned that you didn't know before? Um, I've learned to um, think instead of judge. And I like see something. Or I've learned to think about a situation before I act. Awesome. Um, one of the things I've learned so far is kind of like the whole mindfulness aspect of the whole thing. Like um, just clearing your mind and focusing on focusing. And I didn't really think mindfulness was focusing on focusing. I thought it was just clearing your head. Because in ELA, my class at school, we'd have this mindful minute. And honestly, I just daydreamed the entire time and I thought I was being mindful, but in this DBT thing, I figured out what mindfulness is. And it's helped me focus better in classes and on tests and stuff. So, it's really working. So in this video, we talk about a couple terms. Uh, one of them is emotional mind. Emotional mind is just that. It's when you have a big emotion. It can be positive or a negative emotion, but we become reactive. Um, in that moment if we let that emotion rule our mind. Another term that you will hear us use in this video is reasonable mind. Reasonable mind is when you can take a step back, you can take the emotion out of it, and you can see things just um, as they are the facts. With no judging, you're able to look at a situation and just assess the facts. That's reasonable minded. And last, another term that you'll hear us use is wise mind. Wise mind is when you can take that emotional minded state, combine it with the reasonable mind seeing the facts, and you can come up with a solution um, by putting those two together, seeing the facts, and then taking the emotion of how it is affecting you and problem solve with a wise mind. Okay, I learned from DBT that, um, um, that my I used my reasonable mind, but like I uh, was outside and I was grounded that day. So then I uh, so so 
someone, I was playing bad ball with my sister, and someone came out, and I used my, my, responsible mind. Why is mine? Why is mine? And mind? then I went back inside, and then I got a reward by letting me hang out. <laughs> yeah. Look at how tall you are. I have to put this up high. Okay, so I just asked Ammon um, what he feels like DBT has helped him with the most. As he's been learning these skills, and what do you think, Ammon? Um, I think it's actually probably helped me most with uh, like doing schoolwork. Cause that that's an area. Um, Ammon has an IEP, and that is an area that has been hard with schoolwork is focusing, right? So do you feel like DBT has helped you um, focus more to be able to get your schoolwork done or stay organized? Uh, probably get schoolwork done. Okay, awesome. Anything else? Just smile because you're super cute. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to learn these things to uh, be in more control of my behaviors and reactions just as my kids. Um, a situation that I had this week is I started thinking about all the things that I needed to do this week to get finished before we rolled into the next week. And I started feeling very overwhelmed and frustrated. Um, I got to the point where I just kind of wanted to shut down and not do anything rather than um, think through uh, about, you know, chipping each little thing off my list. And so I recognized that I was um, becoming emotional minded um, as I was feeling overwhelmed and I decided to stop and just check the facts. So what I was able to do is think, okay, what, what can I do first to um, help see everything that I need to do rather than trying to keep it all in my brain. So I decided to make a list of all of the things that I needed to get done. Um, I tried to put them in order of importance um, and priority and um, so I kind of juggled them around a little bit as I tried to assess the situation and I was able to see the things that I needed to do uh, to get through this week on my list and then I was able to use my wise mind to understand okay these are the things that need to happen and I was able to slowly check it off my list and I as I was able to do that I felt less and less overwhelmed and I realized that um, if I wouldn't have stopped and problem solved to see the things that I needed to do I may not even have gotten the things done that were the most important in the beginning um, and you know, put those off to the end because I was feeling stressed or overwhelmed with it. Hopefully you guys can look at some of the situations that you are in. You can try to put some of these things in practice. So one thing to note when you are practicing mindful skills is to understand that we all are gonna make mistakes, we're gonna revert back to some of our old habits, and that's okay. That's the whole purpose of this is practice, practice, practice. And in doing that, it's important not to judge yourself when you are trying to learn these skills. And it's something that you'll get better at as you do more practice. Okay, start over and say if you okay, let's go. like. Do you okay, let's like go. The, okay, ready? Let's go. Let's go. Uh-huh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Thanks I for joining us at Nothing But Real Life. If you learned something from this video, it's something that you want to put into practice, give us a thumbs up. And um, we'd love to hear your comments below if you have also used DPT therapy and some of the outcomes that you have been able to diffuse by using these skills. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Thank you. <laughs>